your boy Crypto Million back with another one. I like to come when the days look like this, right? A little bit of red in the atmosphere. Make sure that you guys like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and keep your favorite crypto and door to door entrepreneur inside the algorithms. But, chat, I gotta confess, I had to take a break, and I might just continue to take a break. I wanted to uh, make this video, though. I got a couple videos that I do wanna make, but um, this specifically just a market out update so make sure that you guys comment let me know um how you are approaching this market um a lot of things going on in crypto right now but it's also a lot of things that have put a bad taste in my mouth about crypto as well so um when when i get the feeling like that i like to just step away from cryptocurrency and just you know deal with life um lately i've been doing a lot of working out so i'm back ah back on my bully baby that run this morning whoo I wasn't prepared for that, but I had to get back to running. Detrimental. All right, so let's talk crypto. You can see that we do got a little bit of red inside the market, but the big dogs are still, institutions are still showing that interest. NASDAQ seeks SEC approval for Bitcoin index options. Um, everybody knows the Telegram um, news, and that's one of the biggest things, right, to really have threw me off about crypto right how the, the telegram guy and what's going on with free i don't want to really get into that guys but y'all see the news right and um it just really makes it hard for a person that um wants to create content or even a builder in the cryptocurrency space because you can't literally you can't say anything and if people use your platform and you know they have messed up intentions it comes back to haunt you as well so um just again crypto it is is in a very 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 weird place. I have to move my um mouse thing there. Weird place. So got to be safe out here, guys. And you know it's it this what which what happened to the you know the the, the TG founder is really a uh, eye opener, right? Really a eye opener, and it um got me feeling like I don't know, I don't know. But I've stated before, you know, I don't think that I'll be a person that will make content through multiple cycles. I'm working to get what. I can get out of this cycle because again, you just you, with the way that the world is going, it you can't grasp right how you know people can manipulate. Things. I'm just gonna put it like manipulate. Them. I don't want to get into that. All right, um, correlation between BTC and the global M2 money supply. So if you don't know that the um, global liquidity has been rising, and normally um, about 365 days after the global liquidity sets an all-time high we start to see an all-time high from btc now um taking a look at btc you can see here guys that we did get the stock rsi cross and confirmation of bullish momentum but what kind of concerns me is because we continue to get a little bit of fud out there with the entire cryptocurrency market we may get rejected here at uh, about 29 because that does serve as resistance on the stock rsi for the weekly so i would love to see us break above 29 but when i look at across the indicators you know the the fear in index green index probably will go down we do have nvidia earnings tomorrow so the market will also um look to price that in so expect volatility specifically in the ai coins and then um you can see that the sentiment not really much over the 50 um 50 median here of bullish and bearish but again, still good opportunities for altcoins as we still are in Bitcoin season. Waiting for that dominance to um, pretty much top out, right? Everybody's waiting for the dominance to to top out. And then in about uh, 22 days, we do got the FOMC, meaning it's a 67% chance of a federal cut. So um, a lot of things to be bullish on in crypto right if i just swing to my uh x page here guys make sure you follow me on x i think lark had a very 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 a uh, great tweet here on why you know you should be bullish on crypto so gold prices are at an all-time high typically bitcoin often lags behind gold for months on top of that the dollar index is crashing yes the dxy is finally at 100 actually let's let's take a look at that because i haven't took a look at the dxy this morning glad that you guys are here um again not not much news in cryptocurrency 
But you can see here that DXY is struggling to stay at that uh, support that we see at 100. We need it to come down below 100. I do uh, expect that DXY does continue to capitulate below 100. We finally should see an altcoin rally. In fact, I've been looking at AI altcoins specifically like Hash AI, Tau, a lot of these um, um, infrastructure AI plays leading into NVIDIA. I would love to see how they actually uh, perform and... Um, respond to the nvidia earnings so that should be interesting i have my eye on tau and also hash ai um just to throw throw a couple of in my opinion blue chip ai coins out there um because guys like i said right now you can you don't really have to be a dj you can really find a lot of stuff on sale in the top 500 right you don't have to specifically buy blue chips in the top 100 but if you just go through one through 500 they are some pretty good tokens that are available right so great day to dca in my opinion i think that q4 will be um one for the ages right all my charts say that we start to put in that next leg up somewhere between the um, end of october and the beginning of november so deep into q4 headed into the election cycle um i think that this is good right because we're about 300 days in um, after the global liquidity set an all-time high. So that's, that's about, what, 66 days until maybe 65 days, maybe a couple months until we finally start to see um, the next leg up from the entire cryptocurrency market. Would love to see the total market here get back above the bull market bands. Um, but if it does serve as resistance, which... In my opinion, you know, if we don't give above 20 here and we get rejected at the stock side, could be another opportunity to pretty much DCA into your high convictional bag. So that's how I look at it. Um, the gist of the video, guys, is I am just um, preparing for Q4 and Q1 of 2025. I'm not overthinking it. I know what I want to buy. I know the narratives that I'm interested in. I know the meme coins that I want to take a look at. But I'm not per se too focused on memes right now. I want to make sure my bag is nice and healthy with the meat, right? Memes is like the dessert. But I want to make sure uh, my recipe is, is, you know, built up, right? So in this uh, next bull run or altcoin season we won't be having to do this again and that's my mentality because it's a scary world man it, it's a very very scary world and in, in in my opinion it's not just at the top right i think retail and consumers of crypto are very immature and tend not to hold accountability right because um you know if you want influencers to hold accountability you want your your developer you want um your blockchain to hold accountability i think that retail should and consumers who actually buy crypto should hold accountability you know no one makes anybody just buy or sell a cryptocurrency right you got to go do your due diligence you got to go out there and do your um research but sometimes it's, it's okay it's healthy to just step away from the market and um get your mind right and i like to do that from time to time right i like to step away um go work out um go you know do things spend time with family spend time with loved ones and just um develop a strategy right go back go back to the drawing board as i would say so um guys keep your head up i think that this sideways actually is good it's designed to shake out the people that's not going to make it so if you made it this far you're one step closer to the finish line you got to remember each and every day a new crypto millionaire is born so think about that think about that each and every day a new crypto millionaire is born right so that's my outlook of cryptocurrency um i don't know if i'll be doing videos like consistently like that because i want to just focus on my trading and focus on um delivering high quality content and also um uh, putting together a winning portfolio for this next phase or should i say next leg up um, which is very interesting in my opinion because if we go here to uh btc let's actually swing back to bcc um and look at the six month chart we know that uh, on the six-month chart, that we usually get four candles. We usually get four green candles before the next bear market starts. So if you go here to the six-month chart, guys, you can see here that um, one, two, three, and this next candle should be the fourth one that sends us to 100K. All right, so we still have, what, three or four days until this month closes. We really, 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 really need to close this month in the green right i don't think it's a make or break 
But I, I would like to see us close this month in the green. And then again, um, we need four six month candles to confirm here um, that the, the, the cycle is the same, right? So each bull run, you got four green candles. You got four green candles on the last one. Um, will we get four six month green candles that takes us up to uh, 100K and then... Um, bear market <laughs> bear market after that and i told i told everybody right i'm looking for the bitcoin chart to hit the uh, bubble lower bands and even if it taps it that's when i'll start my exit strategies and to take profits um, but i think that when bitcoin gets to 100k we should see a lot of these altcoins going crazy guys we should see a lot of altcoins absolutely going crazy so let me know what your favorite narrative is not much to talk about the whole gist of what i'm saying is um, the six month chart shows us that we shouldn't get uh, the last leg up the one month chart We need to close this month in the green the weekly chart still a little bit bearish But we do have confirmation of momentum and even though we fell almost to 49k this month We're back almost to 70k. So that shows you the strength in the Market all right, so let's see how Nvidia earnings come out. Um, Let's see what happens with this whole Ton situation. Um, Ton could be a good trade, right? If you're not, if you don't feel like you're catching a falling knife, it just depends on what happens to the owner of Telegram. But Ton could also be a good trade if you're, you know, into um, buying into fear, right? Buying into FUD, being a opportunist, but also being an opportunist, you got to understand that there is risk there, right? You could lose money, right? You could be catching a falling knife, but just so much opportunity all across the market. Within these blue chips, H bar, Jasmine, Quant, these are some of uh, good, good, good uh, uh, technology here on sale, right? AVAX down, IMX down, Pepe, some of the higher meme coins. If that's something that you're interested in, guys, so go do your research. Let me know what your top five cryptocurrency holdings are in your portfolio. Um, just a good update, guys. I don't like I said, I don't know how often I'm gonna do this this week. I'm taking a little break this week. Maybe next week I'll be back to three videos a day. Um, but uh, I will be dropping content inside the Patreon if you are part of the Patreon. It's your boy Crypto Billy. I'll see you the next one.